good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you last day of January. Another late night trading last night with the FOMC. Uh, as you all know, the Fed abandoned their language indicating additional rate hikes were ahead. Adopting a more cautious approach. Dollar got smashed. Uh, what are we going to do with this now? Um, well, at first blush, I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. Uh, Euro dollar here is in the middle of nowhere, 115 the figure. Cable, uh, don't know what to do with this, but I do know now that this 13060 area is massively important. And this is, a, this is an old fashioned break trade. So uh, just leave a stop entry at, at 130.59. Um, if we get back down there and it might be news driven or comment driven, uh, this thing will this thing will plummet. 130.47 is the 200 day as well. You get three daily lows. Um, pretty pretty classic setup here uh, in cable for break trade. We're not recommending fading it up here at 131.25 and in fact we're not recommending trading cable maybe ever again uh, but if you do feel like trading cable this setup is is pretty good uh, for a good old-fashioned break trade. Dollar Yen got smashed uh, not sure what to do with this here equities a lot higher uh, 26 2685 holding dollar yen up a little bit. We printed 69, which is the same low as 17 January, so that's something to watch. It's now a bit of a level. Um, not really sure what to do with this uh, with this dollar yen, so just watching for now. Dollars are did what we asked it to do yesterday. Big big red day. Um, we are uh, buying dollars R. Uh, well, should I say we bought dollars R? Uh, we have some dollars R here at 13.32, just tiny. Uh, and what we're basically doing is just getting long dollars R here. Um, our stop's going to be below um, 13.08, so it's long ways away. We are accumulating dollars R mainly because we think equities are going to tilt to the left. And we also think uh, the market is misinterpreting the Fed. And non farms tomorrow are going to come in strong, and this will give the dollar a bit of a bid. So you can accumulate some dollars R today on low ones. So 1330, 1325, 1320. Uh, and once we get back through 1360 and we have confirmation uh, the trend has turned, we will we will add some more size to this position. But we are um, shorting our old friend Bazaar here at Privateer FX. Uh, crude, as you know, yesterday pretty good day. Um, Closed to 29. We've been up to uh, 69 now. Today it's buy on dip. We think the range is going to be sort of 54.10, 55.10. So anywhere near the 54 handle, you want to accumulate crude. Uh, anywhere near 55, you want to sell a bit with the idea that you're going to have to buy those back um, because it's our idea that this is a change in trend and crude is going to cruise higher now uh, in a steady sort of pace so core long crude you want to trade those longs up towards 55 you want to add or begin your longs if you didn't trade it yesterday down near 54 elsewhere uh, CAD yen we were nibbling on longs yesterday kind of worked out. I mean, uh, this thing went up to uh, 18. I'm not sure why we're down here at 82, 86, but uh, Cadian looks all right. I mean, it looks like this has more to go. Obviously, it's the conventional uh, 
crude expression. That's the way you express crude crude positions. Long cad yen is long crude, short cad yen is short crude. Uh, so if you're more comfortable with currencies or if you don't have access to crude futures, which I know a lot of you probably do not have, uh, cad yen is your horse. So hop on, let's ride this baby. Uh, you know, you're buying this today, 82.80, and um, 82.70 for a move back up to uh, 83.10. Otherwise, uh, we're just going to sit and wait now. We got, we got news today. We got U.S. GDP, which was delayed from yesterday. We've got CAD GDP, which will affect our CAD yen. Um... And we have some European stuff, Italian GDP, European unemployment, German unemployment, Spanish CPI uh, today. So we got a few pieces of news. In general, we're going to be sort of quiet here at the open. We have nothing really pressing. Uh, we're trading crude from the wrong, long side. Uh, we're trading CAD yen from the long side. We're nibbling on longs and dollars are. And we're going to just kind of wait and see about these equities. We'll be selling some if we get up to 26.98 or 27.08. So nothing pressing at the open, just trading around positions we already have. And with that, I wish you guys good luck and a profitable day. Ciao.